what is the learning that you have from the financial reporting exam that you would like to share with the students at large what would be the two or the three things that you would want students to know that these are the things that you you should surely do my friend in the financial reporting exam what is the learning that you have from the financial reporting exam that you would like to share with the students at large what would be the two or the three things that you would want students to know that these are the things that you you should surely do my friend in the financial reporting exam if you have to be like hemant hemant and of course street pankaj dhingra with a cup of coffee then, then what would that be so firstly i would uh, like like give the advice to don't leave any chapter just prepare the entire syllabus because the questions can be asked from anywhere and i would just like to say three things three p's actually so number one is patience so you need to be patient you won't get the right answer in the first attempt you need to understand the concept you need to apply the concept and then accordingly everything will fall in place and the second p is process you need to listen to the sessions th- like alert you should be alert you should be attentive and uh, you need to listen to the sessions then you should go on solving exam kit and after done with the exam kit you should go on giving mocks and after giving mocks you should like revise the entire syllabus once and the third p is practice as as sir always say that you need to practice questions by your own hand it is actually very vital like it decides where you are and where you want to go so yes i i love that three ps let me tell you i love that because i think that's that's very relevant and and you know one thing that you have said it very subtly uh, hemant which i think is of a prime importance is that that you should not you should not cherry pick topic in the financial reporting exam you cannot say that you know what and many of the students they really do that at times they say that you know this question came in into the last attempt now that won't be coming in this attempt noops that is not something to be done anything and everything that is given in the syllabus area or part of syllabus area is very important you cannot cannot pick something and leave something that is not the right approach to follow you have to do the entire syllabus curriculum now coming on to the 3 p's i think i loved it i can i can tell you from the core of my heart that practice the last one is super important thing and i keep saying that in my sessions out my sessions that you have to practice questions by your own hand as much as possible in the cd the first thing that you, the first p that you mentioned which is like a patience thing i think i think that's very much there for all of the you know exams you know for all of the exams you really need to be patient not that everything that you would get in the exam would be something hunky dory right not that everything that you would see in the exam would be something that you'd be knowing you have you have to apply your basic sense and basic knowledge over there and write it down over there it it would always be a scenario wherein something would come over there which something which is something that you have not seen or not heard but you have to you know be there stand over there apply the knowledge that you have and go along with it go with the flow and that's going to be the mantra the second p which is the process and you know i'm sure hemant you would have written that now you know in our sessions also we say that there is a process that we always follow in the in the entire a uh, preparation uh, methodology which is like you have to see the sessions all the sessions of the syllabus area first then move on to the revision boot camp which effectively covers the concept questions the comprehensive questions the past exam questions and then move on to the mock in addition to that if you are practicing the exam questions oh, sorry the exam kit questions whether it is cap plan or bpp or whatsoever while i can tell you we have covered a lot of that in the revision boot camp so you know we personally feel that you know most of them which are relevant for you are already being covered in revision boot camp but if you have to practice more you can certainly refer any exam kit but in addition to that if you have to do anything then only do the past examination questions past exam papers are something that will certainly give you a very different level of confidence and icing on the cake would be you appearing for a couple of mocks and getting a review and then taking the name of your god and hitting the exam in the best possible way